Biology. I'm a junior postdoc in at Stanford, uh, specializing in human interaction. And I did start taking pharma classes beginning of freshman year, and I've been here ever since. I'm David Brunswick. I'm a second year master's student at Karma, and uh, yeah, studying pharma stuff. I'm Allison Rush. I'm a second year Karma student as well, and I'm also studying Karma stuff. Yes. And uh, together we built the Granny Legs, which is this two orb system with integrated sensors to control using sensor data, several samples, uh, which we put through a granular synthesis engine uh, designed in Max. So each hand controls different parameters of the samples. The right hand controls things like volume with these FSRs under the fingers. Um, the left hand controls filter parameters. So Continuous movement on all three axes allows you to do things like go through the start point of the sample, to change the start point within the sample, um, to change the pitch, and to apply filters. Right, so each ink um, uses a gyroscope and, or sorry, excuse me, an accelerometer and compass within it. And so accelerometer tracks orientation data on its axis, and then we can use the compass data on this axis to uh, for different parameters. In this case, we've got it set up so that as you turn, it like this, whenever you click the button, it locks in a new selection for the start point. And then on this one, <clears throat> this controls the type of filter you're using. So in this case, if we bring it all the way over here, it's a low-pass filter with adjustable quality filter, uh, filter quality on the side-to-side -side rotation. When we started building this, we were kind of combining the ideas of what we can do with continuous controllers, and David was very excited about the idea of granular synthesis. And we were like, how what do we just like combine all of this and make something? So the entire vision behind this product was to take something which allows you to take sound in your hands and feel it and move it around as you would as you can hear it. So we were inspired in large part by the theme in 258 this year of continuous control. We really liked the idea of disguising this uh, very digital, very discretizing uh, process by which we're making music inside these very smooth, kind of retro looking, uh, very analog feeling controllers. Oh, my God. 